everyone, I'm Allie, the hands behind the turtle trunk, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little lemon amigurumi. For today's tutorial, you will need a 4mm or G hook, yellow medium weight yarn, polyester fiber fill, two 8mm safety eyes, black embroidery or crochet thread, a yarn needle, a stitch marker, and a pair of scissors. So we're gonna start by doing a magic circle. So we're gonna wrap our yarn around our index finger and the middle finger of our left hand. You're gonna take your yarn, wrap it around. When you come around, you're gonna make an X. Continue to the back of your hand so that both strands are parallel. You're gonna take your hook and put it under the first strand, grab onto the second strand, pull it under, and pull up a loop. And to secure our circle, we're going to chain one. And this chain does not count as a stitch. So there we have our circle. And for round one, we're going to single crochet six times inside of the circle. And we're going to work around both these strands of yarn. So to single crochet, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So that's one single crochet. So we'll do another, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two. So we're going to do that four more times for a total of six single crochet. Three, four, five, and six. We're going to take this loose strand here, pull it nice and tight, and that's just going to close up that circle there. So at the end of round one, we should have six single crochet. For round two, we're going to work one single crochet into each of the six previous single crochets from the last round. We're going to work in the round, so that means we're going to work our first single crochet in the first stitch of the last round. So to keep proper stitch count, you might want to use a stitch marker or a piece of yarn, and if you just put it at the end of each round, then you'll know where you left off and you won't lose stitch count. So for round two, we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch from the previous round. So one in the first stitch, one in the next. One in the next, and we'll do that three more times for a total of six single crochet. So at the end of round two, we should have six single crochet. For round three, we're going to work one single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet into the first stitch, and then we're going to work two single crochet in the next. So in the next stitch, we're going to work one single crochet, and then in that same stitch, we're going to work another single crochet. And we're going to repeat that pattern two more times for a total of nine stitches. So one single crochet in the next stitch, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And do that one more time. One single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochet in the next stitch. So at the end of round three, we should have a total of nine stitches. For round four, we're going to work one single crochet in the next stitch. So one single crochet in the first stitch. We're going to work one single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to work two single crochet into the third stitch. That's one. And then we're going to work another one into that same stitch. And we're going to repeat that pattern around. One single crochet in the next. One single crochet in the next. And then two single crochet in the next. And we'll do that one more time for a total of 12 stitches. So one single crochet in the next, one single crochet in the next, and then two single crochet in that last stitch. So at the end of round four, we should have a total of 12 stitches. For round five, we're going to work two single crochets in each stitch. So in this first stitch, we're going to work one, and then another in the same stitch. In the second stitch, we're going to do the same thing, two single crochet in the same stitch. 
We're going to repeat that around for a total of 24 stitches. So at the end of round five, we should have a total of 24 stitches. So for round six, we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches, and then single crochet two in the next. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next, and one in the next, and then in the fourth stitch, we're going to work two single crochet. We're going to repeat that. So one single crochet in the next three stitches, two, three, and then two single crochet in the fourth stitch. And we're going to repeat that around for a total of 30 stitches. So at the end of round six, we should have a total of 30 single crochets. And I'm just going to flip this the right way out so that I'm working on the right side now. And I'm going to start using my stitch marker for round seven. So for round seven, we're going to put one single crochet into each stitch around. So that's a total of 30 single crochet around, one single crochet into each stitch. One, two, three. And we're just going to repeat this around, one single crochet into each stitch for a total of 30 single crochet. And at the end of round seven, we should have a total of 30 single crochet. And now for rounds eight to 14, so that's the next seven rounds, we're just gonna repeat round seven. So we're gonna just work one single crochet into each stitch around for a total of 30 single crochet for each round. So start round eight, one single crochet into the next, one into the next, and we'll repeat this around for seven rounds. And I'll catch back up with you guys at the end of round 14. So I just finished round 14, so we should have a total stitch count of 30 stitches. And I'm gonna stop right here to add in the eyes and the mouth. Uh, if you just wanted to do a plain lemon and you didn't wanna have the face on it, you can just skip over to round 15. But I'm gonna stop here and we're gonna add in two safety eyes. So I have two eight millimeter safety eyes. And you'll need some embroidery thread or yarn, something for the smile. So I'm just gonna use some crochet thread. I just have some black crochet thread. So I have about four inches cut off. And then you're gonna need a needle to thread in the mouth. And then I like to place the first eye between rounds eight and nine. Um, you can place yours wherever you'd like. So I'm gonna find eight and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So put the first one around here. And then I like to place the second eye between rounds 12 and 13. and then just try and get them even with each other. And I'm gonna wait to put the backings on until I get the smile on, just so I wanna make sure that they're gonna be in the right spot before I set them down permanently. Okay, so now we'll add the mouth. Just thread it through the needle. And I like to place the mouth centered between the two eyes and then down a couple stitches. So I'm gonna start in the middle, try and find the middle. So I'm gonna go down here. And then I'm gonna to go to the one side. So I'll start on the left and go in. And then I'm gonna go back up through where I first started, up in the middle, and then go to the right. And then you have this cute little smile. Now since we worked in the round, it's gonna be hard to get it completely centered, but just do it the best you can. And if you like your placement, then you can put the backings on the safety eyes, and then you can tie up the strands for the mouth. I just do a couple secure knots. And 
and then I'll just cut the thread a little bit shorter. backings. Now if you're making these for children, babies, little kids, you're going to want to make sure your backings are on really nice and tight and then just keep an eye on them to make sure that they don't break or come loose. If they do, you're going to want to take them out because they are a choking hazard. Okay, there we go. So we added our eyes and our mouth. Uh, you can add little lashes if you wanted, take a little bit of blush and put it on the cheeks. You really can do whatever you'd like to make it your own, make it unique. Okay, so now that we have the face on, we're gonna move on to round 15. So for round 15, we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. I'm gonna put my stitch marker in. So single crochet into the next three. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna single crochet two together in the next. And we're going to repeat that around for a total of 24 stitches at the end. So single crochet into the next three, two, three, and then single crochet two together in the next. And just repeat that around. Okay, at the end of round 15, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're just going to stop right here and stuff it a little bit just before our hole gets too small. So if you want to just take a couple handfuls of your polyfill, your polyfiber fill, and just make sure you get some in the tip at the end. And you can fill it as much or as, as little as you'd like depending on if you, how squishy or stiff you'd like it. So I'm just going to do about two, well maybe not that much yet about one and a half handfuls. And then as we close it up, you can add more if you'd like. Okay, so for round 16, we are going to single crochet two together 12 times. So we're gonna single crochet two together all the way around for a total of 12 times, and that will give us a final stitch count of 12. So put a stitch marker back in there, and single crochet two together in the first two. And in the next, we'll continue that around for a total of 12 times. Okay, at the end of round 16, we should have a total stitch count of 12. Okay, so now we're on to round 17. So for round 17, we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. So one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then we're going to single crochet two together in the next. We're going to repeat that again two times. So one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet two together in the next. And we'll do that one more time. One single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and single crochet two together in the next. And at the end of round 17, we'll have a total stitch count of nine. And then you'll want to stuff it just a little bit more if you'd like to fill up that little gap because after this our hole will get quite a bit smaller so we won't be able to stuff after this. Okay. Now on to round 18. For round 18 we're going to single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet two together in the next. So one single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet two together in the next. And we're going to repeat that around for a total of six stitches at the end. Okay, so at the end of round 18, you should have a total of six stitches. And for our last round, we're just going to single crochet into each stitch. So single crochet six times around, and that will be our final round. So one single crochet in the next, 
and then single crochet in the next. We'll do that four more times for a total of six. So three, four, five, and six. So now we just have to tie off, so I'm going to chain one and then cut my yarn leaving about six inches at the end and then I'm going to pull out my loop and pull tight and then I'm going to take my needle and thread it through my yarn. And in those last six stitches that we just placed in there, I'm going to weave my needle through back and forth and then pull it tight at the end and that's just going to close up that hole. So I'm just going to weave it back and forth between those last six stitches we put in. And when you get to the end, pull tight. And then on the back end, I'm just going to make a couple knots, nice and secure. And then you can weave in this tail. So I'm just going to weave it in the back. So that you can't see it. And if you just weave it in back and forth about three times then it shouldn't come loose at all And then I'm just going to tuck the end of the yarn inside, cut off the excess, and then you might just need to roll around your stuffing a little bit to get it even in there. And there you are, there's your lemon. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial for my little lemon amigurumi and thank you so much for following along with me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll also leave a link to the written pattern in the description box below. You can find the turtle trunk on Instagram and Facebook and please feel free to tag me in any photos you do of your lemon because I would love to see them. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today and happy crocheting!